The car that I suspect you are all drooling over is, just as the badge says, the new Aston Martin Vantage. And on the surface, it looks much like the old Aston Martin Vantage. It has the same name, it uses the same body shell, presumably it's therefore the same car, just with a few modifications to make it a bit better. Well, there is just one small difference. Actually, it's quite a big difference because this one has a six litre V12. It has 510 horsepower. It is the engine from the DBS and the gearbox from the DBS, but in a smaller car, expect fireworks. Okay, so what else is new? Well, first thing is this bonnet. It's lightweight and of course it's got these huge great slats in it which are there to keep the V12 as cool as possible. Down there you've got a new front splitter with carbon fibre all over the place but the big change really are these carbon ceramic brakes rather than steel brakes. They make a very big difference to the way this thing stops. It stops beautifully. And then round at the back we get these slightly tarty lights but then they like that at Aston Martin nowadays and more bits of carbon fibre around the exhaust that looks quite good the track is a bit wider and so although the body shell is no wider the wheels and tyres fill the arches better which make the thing look lower and wider and just meaner really I like it a lot so according to Aston Martin this car is three quarters of a Porsche 911 GT3 and a quarter of a normal V8 Vantage. And I have to admit, sometimes manufacturers sort of load of hocus when it comes to this sort of thing. But they're just about right with this. Because it is quite a raw car. And actually, I find that quite a pleasant surprise. As you can probably hear, the ride is both noisy and quite hard. It's not like a skateboard, it's firm nicely controlled, very obviously the ride of a serious sports car. I'm not sure about the gear change, it's a bit clonky, the gear lever itself is a bit grim, but it is a little bit faster and lighter than the one in the DBS, so that's good. But the mega thing about this car is this. Not just the way it goes in a straight line, that is impressive. But also, it really does go around corners as well. It's sharp, there is no body roll. The steering is precise, very accurate, kind of track car-like, actually. The whole car is just very responsive and very quick. I think what I really like about it is that it's surprising. You just don't expect this kind of wild character from a car wearing an Aston Martin badge nowadays, but they've, they've really gone to town with this thing. I also think it's a much, much better application or use of this V12 engine. There was never any doubt about the engine being a blinder, but in the DBS, it didn't quite hit the spot. The rest of the car couldn't quite live up to the engine. In this instance, I think the car, the chassis, steering, brakes, etc., they're right up there with the engine, and the engine is fantastic. I really rather take them with this car. I think it's fantastic. I'm, I'm surprised by how good it is, frankly. It's also really, really fast, and that's great. But, to judge how fast, I think we better introduce a rival. Now, somewhere around here is my mate, Mr. Jamie Corson Fiend, with a 911 GT2. Ah, hello, Jamie. I think it's time we had a race. <laughs> I lost. I still love this car though. 